Hey, South Point friends and family. My name is Katie. I'm part of the worship team here at South Point. I just wanted to give you guys a couple minute introduction to a song that's coming up this weekend. Uh, you may or may not be familiar with it. It's called Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. Um, and I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of background and insight into my perspective of the song and how I connect with it. So hopefully you can find a way to connect with it as well, um, just with where you are in your life and your journey. Uh, so it starts out, before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. And before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. As a new mom, I say new, my kids almost too. But as a new mom, knowing that God has um, been singing over my son and breathing life into my son since before he was born is kind of amazing. Um, he already knows what my kid's story looks like and what his life is going to look like before any of the rest of us do, which is incredible. Uh, the next part says it chases me down, fights till I'm found and leaves the 99. So that references the parable of the shepherd, which is in Matthew chapter 18, verse 12 through 14, uh, which talks about how the shepherd is, if he's got a hundred sheep following him, one of them goes astray. The shepherd is going to leave the 99 on the hill and go find the one that went astray. And that's just incredible to think that no matter what you've done, where you've been, where you're coming from. If you've gone astray, God is going to find a way to chase you down. Whether that be putting people in your life that are going to bring you back to church or putting you into situations that make you want to go back to church and seek him out, uh, he's going to find a way to reconnect with you and bring you back into his kingdom. Um, the next part says, I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. We can't earn God's love. He freely gives it to us. Uh, and we don't deserve it. We are busted and broken people. Matt always says that, and it's so true. Uh, we don't deserve the, the love that God gives us freely, um, but he does. He gives it to us anyway, and it's incredible. Uh, the second verse says, when I was your foe, still your love fought for me, and when I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. So even if you've gone astray, even if you've fought against God and everything that he has stood for in any situation in your life, He's still fighting for you. Um, it doesn't matter where you've been or what you've done. God is still fighting for you. God knows all of the things that you've done up to this point in your life, uh, good, bad, indifferent, and he's still fighting for you. He still, he already knew that all of that stuff was going to happen before you did. Um, and he still loves you because he created you in his image. Uh, and he's put you on this earth to do all the things that you've done so that you can now go and do all of the great things that he wants you to do in his kingdom. And then the last part is my favorite part. There's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down coming after me. And that's just proof that God is fighting for you and will do anything in his power to connect with you and to bring you back home. I just want to pray. God, I thank you that your love is without constraint, God. It is so big. God, we don't even understand how big your love is for us, but we so appreciate it. Um, we just pray, God, that we can be your hands and feet here on the earth, God, and that we can love people big. We can't love people as big as you do, God, but we pray that we can love people big to bring them back to you so that they can experience your reckless love. God, we thank you, we love you, we praise you, and it's in your son's holy name we pray. Amen.